Hi, I'm Matthew Malcolm with Pacific Nut Producer Magazine, reporting to you from Fresno State's Center of Irrigation Technology meeting put on for almond growers. Water is a valuable and vital resource, and California almond growers are working to make the most of it through improving their irrigation systems. Dave Jameson from Pure Sense shared the benefits of regulated deficit irrigation. When it comes time to shake, you don't want to have this big range of nuts on your tree where your, your whole moisture is you know, in some cases 10% and then all the way up to say 30% all on the same tree. You kind of want to get them close together. Your meat moistures, you want them close together. Uh, you know, when you have in-tree drying, you know, they, they, it'll, 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 it'll uh, condense that. You know, nothing good happens when nuts hits the, hit the ground. So to keep them in the tree as long as you can, shake them when they're ready. Uh, RDI helps, helps in that process by condensing the, the level of maturity. One of the things uh, a lot of almond growers are doing this time of year, we're coming into uh, to mid to late June. Uh, Almond growers are going to do a, something called regulated deficit irrigation. And what that is, is it has a couple benefits. Uh, one, it saves water. And, and two, it actually enhances uh, fruit quality and ease of harvest. So what is regulated deficit irrigation? Well, for the most part, is what you're trying to do is you're manipulating the, the stress on the plant during certain times of the year where the plant is tolerant to such stresses that would have an insignificant amount of uh, effect to the plant, but on the other hand, a very positive effect to, uh, to fruit quality and, uh, and ease of harvest. Generally, when, a, when, when you're looking at the crop use of almonds throughout the period of uh, a season, uh, there are certain times of the year that it is highly uh, sensitive to stress, and there's times of the year where it's very tolerant to stress. Early on, in the se early on in the year when you're having rapid fruit growth and development and you're sizing nuts, it is imperative to, to maintain uh, as high as transpiration rate as you can, meaning the highest amount of, uh, of water use that the, uh, the tree can support without, of course, over irrigating. And there's also some certain times of the year where the tree has already produced its crop for the most part, and uh, in, in, in order to save water, you can actually reduce the amount of water that a 100% fully irrigated tree would need and save water in the meantime, and also allow the tree to to mature in a, in a better manner that would make harvest much easier. For instance, when you go into a hole split, uh, it's not, it doesn't happen overnight. It takes a period of time. So the, the time, and that's again, hole split is when uh, the nut is beginning to open, uh, the hole is going to begin to dry out and be prepared for harvest. So that period of time between the first nut splitting and the last nut splitting can, can, can be, you know, 7, 10, 14 days, whatever it is, depending on, you know, your area of the, of the state that you're in. The idea of, with deficit irrigating is uh, during this period of time is you're trying to condense that amount of time. So you're trying to level out the maturity level of, uh, or the, the readiness for harvest, so to speak, of, uh, of your nuts. And by, by decreasing the amount of water and not having a tree transpire at its full, 100% uh, transpiration or full ET, uh, can do that. Also, it will, uh, you know, nuts again will shake off easier and when you finally make it to the holer, you're going to have less amount of green or wet holes and high meat moistures and not as many uh, dry meats. So the idea is to get, you know, get your meats around 6%, maybe harvest them at 7%, deliver them at 6 and you want as many at 6% as you possibly can. You don't want that to have to, that ride wane. So that's a benefit of going into uh, using RDI. Also, there's been a lot of research that has indicated that, you know, if you have whole, whole rot in your field, uh, using regulated deficit irrigation, uh, pretty much eliminates uh, the, uh, the effect of whole rot in your field and uh, you know monitoring soil moisture is a key to doing that and also using a pressure chamber and using certain thresholds on the pressure chamber to monitor your stress levels as well. Thank you Dave. Learn how to improve your irrigation practices and save water by reading Pacific Nut Producer Magazine. I'm Matthew Malcolm, CaliforniaAgnet.com.